Hello there, welcome to C Terms. Today, we will learn about how to find hidden information in vulnerable services using Google Dorks. First, let's see what is Google Dorks. A Google Dork is a search string that uses Google's custom search operators to filter down search results. When used creatively, these filters can return information that wasn't meant to be found. Exploiting Google Dorks is known as Google Dorking or Google Hacking. Now, let's understand basic Google search operators. Put any phrase in quotes to force Google to use exact match. On single words, prevent synonyms. Example, Nikola Tesla. Search for X or Y. This will return results related to X or Y, or both. The pipe operator can also be used in place of OR. Example, Tesla or Edison. Put a menace in front of any term including operators to exclude that term from the results. In our example, any pages returned will be related to jobs, but not Apple. Use parentheses to group operators and control the order in which they execute. An asterisk acts as a wild card and will match on any word. Now, let's move to the advanced search operators. Site. Limit results to those from a specific website. Let's see an example. If you wanted to search apple.com, you would use the following. And it will give all the results from apple.com. In title, search only in the page's title for a word or praise. Use exact match for praises. In our example, any results containing the word Apple in the title tag will be returned. In URL, find pages with a certain word or words in the URL. Let's look at an example. In this example, any results containing the word Apple in the URL will be returned. In text, search for a word or praise in quotes, but only in the body document text. For this example, any results containing the word Apple in the page content will be returned. File type used for restrict results to those of a certain file type. For example, PDF, TXT, PPT, etc. The EXT operator can also be used. In this example, all the PDF which contain Apple will be fetched. Let's try with EXT also. There are many more operators, but unfortunately, we can't cover all here. Moving forward, let us explore a few Google Dork examples and how it can be easily used to find private information and vulnerable services on the Internet. Find log files with passwords. Searching for log files will allow us to look for clues about what the credentials to the system or various user or admin accounts might be. The dork we'll be using to do this is as follows. When you enter this command in your Google search box, you will find a list of applications with exposed log files. You can also specify site dork for a specific website. Find open cameras. Camera login and viewing pages are usually HTTP meaning Google is happy to index them and provide them for viewing if you know the right search string. Using top.ht and 
and in the URL with the current time and date. You can find a list of live cameras that are publicly exposed. Find configuration files with passwords. If we search for .env files that contain a string for the database password, we instantly find the password to this database we've discovered. By using the command, you can find a list of sites that expose their end file publicly on the internet. Explore open FTP servers. The lack of setting access permissions in the FTP can be the direct cause of internal information getting published unintentionally. With the following dork command, you will be able to easily explore the publicly exposed FTP servers, which can sometimes explore many things. By using Google operators, you can make your own Google dorks to find more hidden information and vulnerable services. For more videos, please like, share, and subscribe to C-Terms.